Hello students, I am Sneha. Uh, today let's uh, discuss on the morphology of honeybees. Okay, uh, so what is morphology? It's a study of uh, shape, structure and form of an organism. So why we need to study the uh, morphology of organism? Uh, we need to recognize and identify the organism uh, to and know the species and genus level of that particular organism or the insect. Uh, so let's discuss on the uh, external morphology of honeybees. Generally like other insects, if we see uh, or look on honeybee, uh, the segments of the insect uh, which is divided into uh, head, thorax and abdomen. Okay, and uh, if you see in the cast of honeybees like a queen, drone and uh, worker bee, the lower picture which uh, represents how they look externally. So now let's discuss on the head part. Okay, generally if you have a front look on of B, uh, just observe the down picture. The left uh, left one, which is a worker bee head, and uh, the right one is a drone male bee head. Okay, uh, the drone and queen head shape is in a triangular, uh, and uh, if you see the male. It is anterior posteriorly flattened. Okay, uh, generally head consists of uh, eyes, antennae, and mouth parts. Okay, mm, eyes uh, are compound eyes, and also the sim three simple eyes will be present uh, called ocelli. Uh, these compound eyes uh, made of uh, light sensitive cells called ometidia. The second picture, the single eye, and, and the side picture, uh, which shows a small cells called Vermetidia, okay, and these uh, three simple uh, eyes, which are arranged in between the uh, two compound eyes in a triangular shape. You can observe the first picture, okay, uh, and also um, these uh, compound eyes function basically the image and color perception, and the simple eyes is a light perception. So now coming to the part of bee head uh, antennae, uh, which is in a geniculate shape that is elbow shaped and it is in a pair uh, and they are present in a socket like membrane in head. Uh, generally uh, same like other insects uh, having the uh, large cape uh, and small pedicel and flagellar segments okay uh, and these flagellar segments are 10 in female and 11 in male okay basically this fun uh, antennal function is uh, feel or touch and uh, that means uh, uh, also the smell uh, thus guides the honeybee uh, to measure the flight speed also so now next coming to the uh, mouth parts it's having the cheeving and la lapping type of mouth part cheeving type consists of mandibles and labrum Okay, and lapping type consists of uh, the tongue. Okay, mm, tongue which is having the maxillae and labial part, proboscis, clossae, everything. So, if you see the mandibles, they are in a pair and they suspended from the head uh, and it's a part of the bee mouth. Okay, they mainly function uh, as a e they eat the pollen and uh, whatever the wax which is produced from the wax glands uh, from abdomen, they cut it and uh, make it a shape while uh, uh, constructing the bee comb. Okay, and uh, they also clean the hive and uh, groom themselves and also fight against the predators. Uh, this mainly acts, uh, acts as a grasping instrument. Uh, coming to the lapping part, uh, as I said before, uh, which consists of the labium and maxillae. Uh, that, in, that means proboscis of tongue. Okay, and their main function is uh, uh, drinking of water and also the lapping of nectar, honey, exchange of uh, food between the uh, forager bee and, uh, and the nursing bee. Uh, it is a temporary organ formed by the uh, assembling of parts like maxilla and labium. Okay, glossae, which is a part uh, present at the tip of the proboscis, uh, which uh, uh, reach the deep into the nectaries of tubular flower. And thorax is the middle part of the insect body. Uh, so, thorax generally consists of the three segments. That is prothorax, mesothorax, metathorax. But uh, in bees and wasps, the um, first abdominal segment, which uh, fused with the metathorax, that is last segment of the thorax, and forms the propodium. Okay, mm, these are uh, uh, and mm, this thorax supports the three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. These three pairs of legs each present on the uh, prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. Okay, and two pairs of wings present on the mesothorax and metathorax. And uh, uh, not like uh, other insects, um, bees are having the uh, 
very important uh, structures in legs and also having the different function generally like other insects uh, the leg parts having uh, having in honeybees is uh, coxa trochanter femur tibia uh, and tarsus so now coming to the foreleg or prothoracic legs it consists of three important structures eye brush antennal cleaner and pollen brush uh, so eye brush which consisted of uh, hairs on tibia basically when uh, honey bee uh, which goes uh, for collecting uh, pollen uh, the pollen dust or the pollen which got uh, when it get uh, stuck on the uh, honey bee eyes uh, it just uh, remove or clean with the eye brush and the antennal cleaner which uh, consists of velum or fibula and antennal comb if you see the foreleg here uh, it consists of the velum uh, it's a spur like structure uh, present at the uh, dis uh, distal end of the tibia and uh, antennal cleaner it's a notch notch like structure present on the metatarsus okay mm, these uh, uh, mm, structures when uh, the when the dust or the pollen it got stuck on the antenna it just uh, keep uh, that antenna on the antenna cleaner and uh, it remove that dust with the uh, velum pollen brush it's a bristle uh, like structure present uh, present on the base tarsus and middle legs or mesothoracic thoracic legs which uh, consist of two important structures that is pollen brush and tibial spur uh, if you see that pollen brush uh, it's formed by the uh, stiff hairs on the uh, base tarsus collect pollen from the middle part of the uh, body okay and a tibial spur it's a movable spur present at the distal end of the uh, tibia uh, the middle legs uh, the left uh, right image you can see uh, it's a uh, movable or mobile spur present at the distal end of the tibia and uh, loosen pollen pellets uh, from the pollen basket uh, present on the hind legs and also it cleans the uh, wings and spiracles okay and uh, coming to the hind legs or uh, metathoracic legs it consists of the three important structures uh, those are pollen basket or corbicula pollen packer or pollen press and pollen comb pollen basket or corbicula enable bee to carry uh, loads of pollen and propolis okay pollen packer or pollen press consists of the pecten and auricle uh, pecten is a uh, Mm, stout bristle like structure if you see the down picture the left one uh, you can observe the pecten it's a stout bristle and the auricle is a small plate fringed with hairs at the basal end mm, okay mm, and also pollen uh, comb will be present now coming to the wings of honeybees they consist of the forewing and hindwing forewing is present on the mesothorax and hindwing uh, is present on the metathorax okay mm, these uh, uh, wings are uh, used for the flight and also cooling uh, of the hive and also to remove the excess moisture uh, from uh, uh, honey okay this hindwing uh, uh, having the uh, hook like structures at the anterior margin uh, during flight these uh, hooks uh, are folded on the lower margin of the forewing and function as a unit both the wings move together with utilizing the body energy in efficient way to obtain higher flying and mm, wing moving speed now coming to the posterior part of the insect called the abdomen uh, here the segments are having is uh, nine in adult and uh, in the larva it is having the 10 segments okay first abdominal segment which fuses with the metathorax and forms the propodium and second uh, segment which is constricted uh, called the petiole or pedicle and the subsequent segments are known as the uh, gaster uh, and here in abdomen there are important uh, glands uh, those are present uh, uh, in the fourth to seventh segment uh, are uh, wax glands uh, from this wax is produced to co construct the comb and uh, six and seventh se uh, seven segments having the scent glands uh, which is used uh, uh, which uh, the scent is produced for the uh, communication and two important organs present on the abdomen are the sting and spiracles uh, sting it is a modified ovipositor and serves as an instrument of defense and spiracles these are the breathing pores present on the uh, sides of the thorax and abdomen thank you uh, i'll be dealing uh, in the next presentation on the bee behavior just basics and uh, glance on the bee behavior